So uh, Chris Parson, you know, for me, you know, I'm not saying this because he worked with us a little bit in old game day. You know, I'm, I'm a big fan of him. Uh, I think his, his style of play uh, carries over to what quarterbacks in college football need right now to, to get the job done. He stretches the field, maybe has one of the best deep arms in the country, and he's super athletic. You know, he he runs real well, but he, he uses his ability to, you know, scramble in the pocket, and he's always looking downfield. He's not the biggest kid. You know, he's probably six feet and a half, uh, but he's so strong in his lower base. And, you know, he can flick the ball 70 yards legitimately. I like it. I like his play. I really want FSU to hold on to him. Doesn't look like that's going to unfold. So, you know, two names popped up recently on the board. You know, you have Brock Glenn, who you may be a little familiar with. Ohio State is uh, pursuing him. And, you know, I, I didn't realize Ohio State, they're, they have a lack of depth at the quarterback position, too. You know, and for me as an FSU fan, I w- my debate with some other FSU fans was, you know, Ohio State has question marks too. And if I, Ohio State comes full on, I think talking to the kid, that's going to intrigue him um, very much. I think it's an Auburn, Florida State, Ohio State kind of kind of race there. Um, and then you have Ricky Collins, who is committed to Purdue out of Louisiana. You know, Florida State likes him. Um, you know, he just – both Collins and Glenn did official visits last weekend – um, and what's funny is all three of these kids are competing in the Elite 11 finals here in California. So I'm interested to see how that unfolds. You know, I, I do like Glenn as option number two. You know, kind of the same, a little bit style of play that um, Chris Parson has with, you know, can, can get the ball down the field, you know, better athlete than people think. Uh, Collins, uh, I, I'm a fan too. You know, I, I like all three of the guys. Uh, Florida State has to win one of them especially if Parson backs out. You know, they can't go 0 for 3 here. And Mike Norvell's quarterback recruiting for a guy who is such a – I think it's a gift to play caller. Um, you don't lose your ability to call plays from one school to another. I think, you know, your players and your – what you have in the cupboard is a part of that. But his, his recruiting at FSU has been a head-scratcher. You know, Chubb and Purdy didn't pan out. Um, you know, Tate Wernermaker has been a, a practice quarterback. They lose Luke Altmeyer to Ole Miss at the last minute. Um, you know, Jeff, Jeff Sims, he backs off him, and he is a Georgia Tech. So I, 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 it's it starts there at quarterback, and Florida State doesn't have an answer yet at the most important position in, in, in the sport. Nico Markiel, did you expect him to pan out? Um. Yeah, I didn't mention him. You know, what I think what was weird with his recruitment was he was about the competition and talked about uh, I'm ready to compete. I'm friends with AJ Duffy. Went out and watched AJ Duffy play a game. AJ Duffy commits, and then several days later he decommits. And I find that really weird. Um, I think Markiel, not to say anything, I think he. Needs to gain a competitive edge. Are you pretty order. high on Duffy? Um, I, I, I was coming in, but you know, I think the best way for me to explain Duffy is that he, I, I, I told James Coleman this, and he was kind of like, uh, "Wow, he's either going to be Sam Howell or he's going to be Jeff Sims." I don't think there's going to be anything in between, and I say that because, um. I don't like his body. I think he's a little slappy for a quarterback. Um, there was some debate on how things ended at IMG on his mentality if he has a, what it takes to be a, a high division one quarterback. He's got talent. Um, I think he was maybe a little bit of a disappointment in spring. Got Nate Greer here from uh, yeah. Go, so, so, go gr- gr- granted, it was you know first spring coming out of out of high school, but maybe expect a little bit more for a blue chip, you know, top 150 kid. 